Well, this afternoon, friends, family, and people who never even knew Army Captain Michael John McKinnon gathered at the Dearborn Rest Area north of Helena to remember this soldier who made the ultimate sacrifice. MTN's Christine Sullivan reports. A bridge on I-15 over the Missouri River between Helena and Great Falls is being named in Army Captain Michael McKinnon's honor. It's like he's an exemplary soldier, and I think that's the thing that people know firsthand because that's what their introduction to him is. But he was so much more than that as well. You know, he was an incredible person and, and a big influence on my, me. You know, what kind of man I should be, and, and great to my mom, and great to my sister, and, and so. I think uh, in his letter home to us, he, he, the thing he wanted people to know was he loved his family and he was a family man. And so I think that's what he stood for the most out of anything. McKinnon was born in Helena, graduated from Capitol High School in 1993 as valedictorian, and soon went on to the West Point Military Academy, graduating in the top 10% of his class. My favorite thing about my dad and what I remember the most is that he always says keep trying and keep going. and. Um, with like the art and the projects that I did today, he always told me to keep doing it because I was going to get better and better. And so um, I thank him a lot for that. And I wish that he could see it today. He was on his fourth deployment in Iraq in 2005 when he was killed in action by a roadside bomb. McKinnon was just 30 years old. The project is part of Bridges for the Fallen, a nonprofit that works with Gold Star families to get bridges named in honor of fallen soldiers. Bridges for the Fallen was started by Rob Mador in 2012. Mike McKinnon died a hero. And it's, it's really important to us that we're able to honor him and his family. His family needs this. The Montana Department of Transportation approved the project in August of last year. This is the first bridge in the state to make it through the application process, and it took more than three years to get it approved. Captain McKinnon's legacy will forever remain over his favorite river in Montana. Reporting in Helena, Christine Sullivan, MTN News. Naming the bridge at mile marker 241 on I-15 after Captain McKinnon has also been endorsed by the VFW and American Legion of Montana.